Good day. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm Harry Vanderlinden, and this is my wife Joanne, and we farm Minden Wright Holsteins. We've uh, started farming here in 1983. Our son Jason farms with us today, and he's been with us five years after graduating from the Nova Scotia Agricultural College. Anyways, um, we milk uh, 90 cows, and we have a total of about 250 head, and we farm 200 acres. Okay, so the barn that we're in at the right now is our new barn. Um, it was built with cow comfort in mind. That was our number one priority, is that it be open and spacious and have really good air for cows and for their health. Um, and that's why you see the, the walls are wide open. We have curtains on the walls to provide natural ventilation. Um, that's the healthiest thing for cows is to have good air and have natural ventilation. And the bonus is that there's no electric bill for running fans. We had an energy audit done in 2009. We had finished our new construction at that time. We were in the process of doing ongoing renovations. So I think the energy audit um, just reconfirmed that we had made good decisions as far as our energy efficiencies was in the barn. Um, did point out some things that we could do better or do differently and you know going ahead we will use some of those ideas. So basically what the plate cooler does is take some of the heat out of the milk before it goes into the bulk tank. So water circulates around the milk as it's coming through. Um, the reclaimed water is is lukewarm basically and that goes into a separate holding tank that we use for washing down the milking parlor and then the cows drink that warm water and cows like warm water and then the milk goes to the cooler already cooled quite a bit so it takes less energy to finish cooling that milk. So in our new construction and in our renovations we made use of funds that were available through the Farm Investment Fund for energy upgrades and energy installations. Um, yeah, I guess we, we've, we've always done our homework with the Farm Investment Fund and, and whatever's available to us, we, we try to make use of. And it's a big help when you're doing a big project. We visited 40 barns before we built this barn and looked at what people have done and looked at, you know, just sort of picked out what we like the best. So I think it's really important to do your homework and to know what you want to do. And ask the question, what would you do different? Yes. Because if it doesn't work for one farmer, it, and, uh, and hopefully they tell you the truth, it's not, it's, it's not going to work for you as well. So. I think every farmer has an interest in renewable energy. Um, and probably the, the biggest reason is if we need to cut our costs for production. And if there's things we can do that can cut our costs and reduce the amount of electricity, oil, propane, whatever, that we use, um, then we're going to be investigating that. As long as that initial cost is not too high. Yes. Because at the end of the day, it still takes dollars to make something happen. And, and uh, there needs to be a return, and that return needs to be not 25 years. It needs to be like six to seven, eight years. 